What's good tribe? It's energy and I'm back with another reading for you guys. So as you guys probably have already seen, I have quantum leaped and evolved way outside of tarot. I can channel energy without using the cards. I've always been channeling energy without the cards and I'm very heavily connected to the universe. So, so in this shift, I've also have felt really inspired to change the format of my channel. So if you guys are still here on the Tarot Priest, I want you guys to comment down below, what should I change the name of this channel to? Because I just don't resonate with the Tarot Priest anymore and I'm evolved and I believe I am an energy reader for this entire planet. So I believe that I'm an earth angel and angel being carrying the light, just being here to carry this light, carry this truth and to announce it to the world. So. If you guys are looking for pick a card readings, those are going to be found on the tarotchest.com unless I feel inspired to do one on this channel. So I believe that my gifts are going to be used on a larger scale on the planet. And so I will be using my gifts to channel energy as far as what the current energy is, what you may be going through or what you could be experiencing right now. So if you guys haven't already, just follow me on all platforms under its energy. So. Once again, I feel like I'm energy. I feel like I'm an energy reader. I feel like I'm called to this planet. I feel like I'm an oracle for this generation. And I believe that I am here to spread the light and receive these channel messages and give them out to the world. I just feel like the format that I've been doing with the pick a card readings just isn't inspiring anymore. I've been doing that for three to four years. So it's like, you know, so when I am doing that, you could just find that on the tarotchest.com. So, I also believe that you don't have to pick a deck to receive a personal message. There are billions of videos on YouTube and there are hundreds of thousands of videos being dropped every single day. If this video came across your feed, it's very simple that it's meant for you. You don't have to click the video, click the deck and for me to personalize it. Some of you guys listen to all the decks and you feel like they all resonate and that's because you're all on the same frequency. So there's no need to separate the energy unless a, of course you're looking for a personal reading, which you guys can find booking a personal reading or personal pick a card readings down below at the tarotchest.com. In the meantime, I'm going to be switching up my routine and getting more involved in the world, in this planet, using my gifts on a very, very higher perspective. Okay, so I'm talking about what supersedes Earth, all right? I'm being called to be a leader of this generation and spreading the light. I'm just gonna be spreading my light, sprinkling it everywhere that I go, and that's what I'm called to do. So now these readings are gonna be more centered around energy readings. So what is the energy right now and what you could be experiencing? Where are you going? What does the universe want to say to you? I am a oracle. I am a messenger. And if you're here, then I have a message for you. It's very simple. You don't have to pick a deck. I don't have to say you or point to you or say your name. And if that's the case, then many of you guys could be missing messages from the universe. The universe is going to communicate with you through people, through signs, through numbers, through feelings, through emotion. It's all of the above. So I use everything to, to allow the universe to communicate with me. And I am completely an oracle and a messenger for those channels. So if you guys are looking to connect with the universe, this is going to be the channel for you. If you're looking for enlightened content, once again, enlightenment is a place that very rarely people even get to, then this is going to be the channel. Okay, so if you guys are here, there is a message directly from the universe and I'm allowing myself to be an oracle to see what that message is for. Okay, let's just see what the message is for the people who are on this video. Okay, we have the moon card. We also have the three of pentacles. We also have the knight of nine of swords. All right, and we also have the Queen of Swords. All right, so, all right, so right off the bat, we have Pisces Energy. We also have Three of Pentacles. Some of you guys are worried or concerned right now about situations in your life playing out or panning out. Many of you are also getting into logic mode, okay? With the Queen of Swords here, you're getting into a very analytical place of trying to figure out how to make certain things in your life happen. And 
specifically, we're looking at your career, your collaborations, how things are just going to happen. How is this going to happen? How is this going to work out? Nine of swords, it could be creating a lot of stress, a lot of worry. Okay, so understand that worry and stress are not your normal state of vibration. This is not a normal state for you to be in. How do you know? How do I know that? Because it doesn't feel good. So the nine of swords, there's also this feeling that I'm picking up from you of just really feeling like you're ready for something new. Okay. And this is a very, very heavy shift that is happening in your life that you are feeling. Many of you guys could be experiencing changes in the people around you. All right. Something is not being revealed to you with the moon card here. The moon also represents the light in the darkest time. It's a very subtle light. So this is something that you are not seeing is going to play out. So everything right now is kind of unknown. You know you want a beginning. You know you want something new. There's a sense of exhaustion with having to work, make things happen. You're tired of making things happen. All right, so that's what the message is here already is you are tired of making things happen. You have been in Queen of Swords energy, which is logic, which is also just analytically trying to figure this out. And understand, like I always say, even with your higher self coming through right now, it is not for you to figure out. This is not for you to figure out. Page of Pentacles, you have some type of offer, a brand new opportunity that's coming in. We have balance at the bottom. Take time to relax. Indulge a little bit more or less. Set boundaries with your work. Some of you are working too hard. I assure you that it is, it is not required to obtain your desires, all right? You are in a place right now where you have to make a decision on what it is that you truly desire, not what you want, not what you To be honest with you guys, what I'm hearing is I just don't want to do it anymore. That's what I'm hearing. I just don't want to do this anymore, okay? But I don't know how to get out of it. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to look, where to go with the nine of swords here. There's an imbalance in how much you're working. There's exhaustion coming from this. You're wondering why you're tired. You're wondering why you need or feel like you need caffeine. You're wondering why you feel like you need to be motivated. And that is because the space that you're in requires you to be motivated to actually do it. Some of you allow your lack to motivate you. I don't have this, so I'm gonna motivate myself to do this so that I can have it. Tricking yourself into doing things you believe you have to because you think that you have to. Whether that's go to this job, stay in this situation, stay in this location, stay in this class, even though it doesn't excite you. There's communication coming in from your spirit, the moon card. You have the psychic ability and awareness to feel what does not feel good, okay? So you're not getting much sleep. You're not getting much, much rest. There's a lot of work. You've been on this hamster wheel for God knows how long, okay? And you're wondering, how the hell do I get out of this space, all right? You know you desire more, but what I'm feeling is that there is a blessing. There is an unexpected blessing that is right around the corner. It's starting off as a page, so you're not even looking at it because you don't feel like it's promising. You can't even see this. So Spirit is saying, envision a new reality. Wake up tomorrow and pretend that you're in the reality that you desire. It may even be challenging to imagine something new, something you've never experienced before. But what I'm hearing from your higher self is that you've always had these desires. These desires are connected to you like an umbilical cord. They are your desires. They are you. Whether you are excited by material things, these material things are a representation of your true self which is abundant. So yes, you're going to be drawn to that. So there is a lot of anxiety, anxiousness. What's going to happen? What do I do? Where do I go? 
understand that you are desiring something you may have never obtained yet. Something, it could be true love. It could be true freedom. All right, true freedom is what I'm getting. True freedom from not having to feel like you have to work, feeling like you, feeling like you have to work so hard. Okay, you've been in Queen of Swords energy. This is logic. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, so much logic in your headspace, you're not able to connect with your psychic abilities, okay? This is interesting that we have the two here because we have the moon card. The moon represents your psychic abilities, your insight, your intuition, your foresight. But you're so focused on being in your head space because that's what you're most comfortable with. That's what's most familiar. Start to get more familiar with your instincts and your intuition. And spirit is saying, what's going to get you out of this place, believe it or not, is your imagination. Your imagination. Even for myself, every day, I do a meditation for imagination. All right, I'll put on my favorite music and I will imagine myself in a space, whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow, okay? I'm hearing some of you start to plan and get excited for the next two to three months that are coming in. Directing my focus onto what's thriving creates more of what I want. So with the Nine of Swords energy, you have been focusing on how to get out of this, of that, or how to get this or that. And what Spirit is saying is direct your focus on what's working, all right? What's actually working? You may have really wanted clarity or confirmation. And here's this video right here being sent to you because what? The universe is answering your prayers. You may not be seeing it, all right? Something else I was getting to for you guys is community, tribe, council, friendship is coming in for you. You are making some very drastic decisions in your life and they are manifesting and allowing what you truly desire to come in. It says envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. Many of you are not going towards your desires because you don't know how you're going to obtain them. Understand your desires and your wants are different. A want is a, oh, I want. A desire is I got to have, I'm obsessed with in a good manner. I'm meaning I'm obsessed in the sense of I'm so excited to do this, to, to be here, to have this, that it will naturally drive you. A want takes a lot more effort. Okay. This is more so for your ego, your wants, but a desire is a part of you, which is why you can feel it so deep down inside when you have a desire. When you go towards your desires, even from these cards here, it's going to naturally work out for you because your desire is creating an energy into the vortex of the universe that is attracting that same vibration in you. Some of you, I'm hearing you may be getting a new car. All right, you may be moving to a new location. You may be going on a vacation. All right, is what I'm getting here. Let's see who you're becoming. All right, because you're becoming someone you've never been before. You feel like you've never been, but it'll be so damn natural. You're going to realize you've always been this person. So right now, what I'm seeing with you is to connect with your instincts and your awareness through your imagination. We have patience who you're becoming the Huron. So taking time alone, create a place in nature stillness and be renewed. Step confidently towards your purpose. Take time alone to find balance. Patience will bring you rewards. What are you being patient with? It's not the universe. You are being patient with yourself going through these adjustments. You can't even find space to not worry or stress. This is where the patience is. All right, really, really, there's some sense of self-love that is coming through here. Self-awareness, be more in tune. It's happening all around you, but you will miss it if you are in your headspace. Some of you don't know how this is gonna work out, but I see some type of opportunity, which we'll get into, coming through here where you're going to have people who actually believe in what you're doing, all right? I'm seeing that here. If you are here, there are people who are going to want to collaborate with you 
in this new place. Once again, I'm going to get some energy on that page of pentacles because it's bringing me a small seed that turns into a money tree, but you're not seeing it. All right. So let's just see who you're becoming. We had intuitive as well. Listen to the song of your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing emerge from the busy life. Do something different. This is why you have to be patient with yourself. Some of you think you want it right now. If you really wanted it right now, you would say, I'm done. I quit. No. But you're prolonging that. Those, I don't want to do this. I'm not going to do this. You're prolonging this. And that's why you have to be patient. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with prolonging it. Just know it's not the universe. It's you. So yourself. So be patient with yourself. Self is a whole nother entity. You and self, yourself. This is two here. This is a duo. You are light. Self is shadow. It's ego, which allows us to be here. So you're learning more about what all this is. And if you want to know it before you believe in it, that's why I'm telling you this for some reason. You're an intuitive. Some of you guys could be artists. We're going to get this page of pentacles. What's the energy of the page of pentacles? What energy is this that they're possessing an opportunity from what energy are they in when they're getting this opportunity we have dog at the bottom friendship okay hummingbird in miracles so with the page of pentacles you have an opportunity that is coming in it seems very small but it is coming up as a miracle which is why you can't see it you are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love, earth angel. I realize my channel may not attract everyone, and that is because everyone is not ready to hear this truth. This truth is the highest light you're going to find. It is enlightenment. This is where miracles exist. This is where bliss exists. This is where heaven exists here on earth. And the truth is, is that you're the joy bringer. How can you be you when you're in these circumstances? You can't even be you. Being you is just simply existing and being in joy. Having a day where you're not even worried about anything. Could you imagine that? Start imagining scenarios that you haven't experienced that you desire to experience. This is what's allowing you to create the experience. Your energy soars on your shining wings, spread the miracle of happiness. So like I was saying, everyone is not drawn to this channel. So if you are here, most likely you are an earth angel. And I realize I am the tribe leader for the earth angels. And so I've accepted that. I have accepted that. And now I know exactly who I'm speaking to, <laughs> which is an earth angel. Someone who sprinkles joy around the world. Someone who just blesses the world with positivity and love. What does that do for the world? It raises the entire frequency of the planet. You're called to earth. You're here to experience that. All right. So how are you going to get there is none of your concern because this is what's bringing you stress and worry. Because that doesn't make you feel good. So you're the joy bringer. You're the one who is bringing the joy. Wherever you go, light follows. It is your joy in the workspace that people come to work for. It is your joy that people are looking for. And when you are you, you are in joy. All right, we have the seven of pentacles. Be patient. Once again, you're, what is this? It's crazy that I said that. I said, okay, you could be a Capricorn energy, the devil at the bottom. I said, it's a seed that's going to become a money tree. Look at this money tree growing. Seven of Pentacles. You know what the Seven of Pentacles is? Patience, perseverance, okay? So it is just so crazy. So July could be a very important month for you is what I'm hearing. 777 is in July. That could be a huge portal shift. Doesn't matter when you're here. This is a timeless reading. But what I'm getting is it's going to turn into a money tree and this is a miracle. 
So you are in a space, when this happens, you're in a space of, I don't know how this is gonna happen, but I just know it's gonna happen. And let's get the energy of what that is. What is the energy of what's happening? Give me the energy of what's happening. Celebration, okay? It's time to celebrate. You've been in work mode for too long. You're just tired of doing it. <laughs> this is what it comes down to. You're tired of doing it. And if you have to motivate yourself to do it, that's how you know it's not aligned. Because if you're naturally inspired, that drive, that desire and inspiration is going to fuel you. That is your caffeine, your inspiration. So a positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success, your, enjoy your achievements. Huge spiritual shift that is happening and taking place. You've already made the decision. You've already made the decision for something new to happen. And right now, you could simply just unknowingly be resisting it because you don't know how it's going to happen. How are you resisting it? Just not feeling good about it. Not feeling good because you may be worried, stressed, not knowing where it's going to come from, where the contribution is going to come, where is this going to go, where, 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 where. And remember, you're in a state of patience, of allowing when this happens. So let go and allow. And I see a celebration coming. Something you're going to start. This is going to start in your imagination. You're going to get a vision of yourself having fun, being happy, doing what you enjoy. Some of you, it's an, being an artist of any sense. An artist, a creator, a joy bringer, just someone who uplifts people and Imagine every time you uplift someone, a coin on your money tree just grew. This is your energetic financial frequency that is growing. But you must know that you deserve to receive outside of working hard. Can you imagine yourself receiving without working? Have you ever imagined? Truly, you have to be honest with yourself. Have you ever imagined yourself receiving without having to work so hard? And again, receiving while you're doing what you love. If you love to be by the beach, imagining yourself receiving while you're at the beach. You don't have to be at work to be receiving is what I'm hearing for some of you guys, earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgos. All right. It is your passion. It is what lights you up that is going to naturally drive you. You will not have to motivate yourself to do this. Okay, it's going to be so natural and effortless, which is why you're going to be successful at it. So I see it growing over time, could be seven months of time. I just see preservation. Put your time into what brings you joy. Some of you are not, you're just doing it for a little bit here and there. Do it consistently. Let's see what the energy of what they're bringing in is. This manifestation, what is the energy? Thank you. We have past lives. We have beloved at the bottom. Prepare for your life partner. This new you. Because you desire, if you don't have a life partner or if you do have a life partner, to be free with this person. So you must first individually feel that before you can attract this or even allow that possibility to happen in your relationship. Okay, because if you're in a relationship and two people are not free, they're not happy, they're not bringing in joy, they're both doing the same thing, having to motivate themselves to, it's like, that's what I'm picking up here. But prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. Some of you are in relationships. Romance is returning because you're going to be happier. Why be in a relationship if you're not even happy in your life? You can't even really experience the love in this connection because of where you are energetically. All right, so that's something that you are preparing for is a life partner if you have not already met this person. You shifting this whole new life that is coming in for you is completely different. It's something you've never experienced before. You have a collaboration coming in, a work collaboration. You could be moving into a space of work which you enjoy more, but I just don't see work, okay? <laughs> I just, if you're here and you're an earth angel, it is what it is. I know who I'm speaking to now. If you don't enjoy the word work, it's not for you. It's just that simple. And you have to be really honest with yourself. Do you really enjoy working? Okay? But no, but I have to. You're choosing to. Because you believe you have to. All right? And Spirit is saying that there's something here that you're doing. Maybe others will think is work, 
But to you, it's so natural and easy and it brings you so much joy that there, it is not work. So you're also manifesting the strength and the courage and the bravery to release your past life karma the way you used to think. All right, maybe picking up on some of generational thoughts, some of your parents' thoughts, some of your mentors' thoughts is what I'm getting also. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. So what is your past life here? It is just simply past paradigms that you're holding on to. How you believe things have to come. Some of you believe you have to do this, to do this, to do this, to do this. And I would say, okay, you're going to do this and then do what? Oh, and then I'm going to get a job. Okay, and then what are you going to do? Then I'm going to get the money. And then what are you going to do? Then I'm going to open up this. It's like you believe you have to do all of these things when all you really desire is this. You don't have to jump through any hoops. And honestly, they would be aligned. Even if you went to school, even if you learned more, if you were excited to learn more, then this is a great place for you to be. But if you're like, oh, I really don't enjoy this learning process, but I have to complete this or I can't get that, that's your answer. It should feel good all the way through is what I'm getting, all right? Because this is what's going to help you build the momentum is feeling good. You can't just feel good sometimes and then go here and you're like, okay, I'm going to feel bad for a little bit until I get this, until I get that, until I get that. That's you trying to make it happen, all right? Really, really, really with the moon card, let something else higher than your intellect guide you. your awareness, your psychic ability. This is how you're going to awaken it. And this is how you're going to activate it by allowing yourself to use that muscle. And then you will see in your imagination, you will see in your dreams how it's going to work out. And then you will know in your soul it's going to work out because you've seen it. Some of you are waiting physically to see it. You'll see it in your imagination work out. How do you know? Because you'll see it and you'll feel good about it. That's confirmation. The gifts are working, but do you trust them? Do you trust source? Do you trust the universe? All right, so let's just see what else is here for the energy. We have the sun in reverse, all right, which, which once again, we have school, someone in school here. The sun in reverse, unhappiness, uh, lack of joy, lack of sunshine. And we know in order to grow the seed, there's got to be sunshine, which means you got to do it more. There's something that you enjoy, that you love to do, that you're just simply not doing as much because maybe you don't feel like you have the time. Maybe you're not even thinking about do, doing something that brings you joy, okay? Because you're caught up in the rat race is what I'm hearing. So time to relax is here. We have observation, pay attention, pause, okay? So right now, if you're experiencing some type of pause, some type of pit stop, it's actually in your benefit because spirit is trying to show you something. You really have to trust the universe, trust God, because this feeling of worthiness, of gratitude, comes from knowing that you are being guided by a force that is the most powerful force on this planet, which is through love. The universe knows your desires more than you do. Some of you don't have enough desires. You're just looking at what's in front of you or the same thing you've been trying to manifest for months or for a year or more. Let that go by looking beyond that and imagining, now imagine that you already have that and move forward so that can come. So we have a pause right now. There could be some lack of sunshine, a lack of joy, maybe not knowing where things are going to go. Once again, the Knight of, Nine of Swords. Some conflict, some inner conflict. All right, desiring peace. But understand, you don't have to go to the ocean to receive peace. You desire peace, but you don't need anything to feel that feeling, to feel that vibration. That's how powerful you are. Take a stop and tune in to the feelings that you are desiring and let them flow. You have the power. Okay, so something is not bringing you joy, but you keep doing it. You keep putting yourself in that position because Queen of Swords, you believe you have to. What are you learning in this situation? Queen of Swords, 
unravel, puzzle, conundrum, solution. You're trying to find a solution here. Understand that spirit is going to give you a solution. If solutions have not come, it's because spirit is saying you're not seeing. We have patience again. Patience with yourself, which means stop and slow down. Some of you feel like if you're not going, nothing's happening. Nothing's progressing. But this is further from the truth. Once again, just because you can't see it physically doesn't mean it's not happening. So you're trying to unravel this. You're trying to figure all this out. But honestly, what you could do is just throw your whole old life out is what I'm hearing. Throw your whole life out. Throw your old self out. Throw everything away. Let it all go. But some of you are like, whoa, 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 whoa. I can let this go, but I can't. And you wonder why you have to be patient to receive more. Okay. And it's, it's not the universe. It's us. And that's why self-love is required. Because you will really get frustrated with yourself thinking you're making this happen. You're, you're just aligning with what is already meant to happen for you. And it's being shown through your psychic abilities with the first card being out is the moon. The moon. All right, let's see what else is here. We have the sun in reverse. So you're moving towards more happiness, celebration, having the strength to look on the other side. Understanding everything that you're going through right now, you're actually activating your gifts. You're activating them. You're, you're, you see, we think the universe is teaching us a lesson. This is hilarious. The universe does not have time to teach us any lessons. It's already set up that way. We have a choice. We're looking down a hall. We have all of these doors. All right. And here's the thing. Some of you are looking at which door to go through, through your physical eyes. And if that's the case, you might have to go through every single door because they all look the same. Understand me when I say this. All of these paths will look the same, but they will not feel the same, which is why this position, you took yourself into these doors that you're in. Now the universe is going to show you the lesson. We think it's a lesson, but no, we just learn and we never go through that door again. So therefore we call it a lesson. It was our choice and decision to go through that door. But we went through that door because we thought it was the right door. How do you know it's the right door, the door being the right path? Are you going to go through all of them? Because um, there's infinite paths. Do you have even time to go through each door, every path in this world? No. So God, the universe, has given you a gift that's literally inside of you. You can feel it. You can feel it when I'm speaking to you, directly to your soul. How would I have this if I were not connected to something higher that was omnipresent? Everywhere, all at once, at the same time. You have that same ability. So how will you know which path? You must feel it. You can walk up to a door, a path, a person, a place and say, mm, this does not feel good. And that is your compass to not go in that door. Now, if you choose to go through that door, there's your lesson. But the lesson is really not a lesson. It's more of a gift and a resource. Now you'll never go through that door. So now there will be tons of doors, whether it's people, past decisions. The doors are representing past and decisions. And you will always have those. But you're not choosing this next path through your logic. You must let go of trying to figure out and find solutions. It's exhausting you, okay? It's exhausting you trying to figure out, trying to keep this, trying to keep that. It is exhausting. There's a sense of time to rest, a time to take a step back because if it's not working, something's not aligned. If it was aligned, it would be natural, easy, so easy that you're like, oh, this is meant to be. Those are the paths, right? So the door, you will feel it. And that's why you have to awaken these gifts, this insight, this intuition, the, the tarotchest.com. You guys can find how to activate your psychic powers. I went through a whole candlelight session in that one hour video. If you guys are drawn to that, pick a card reading. You must be able to connect and feel that so that you can then close your eyes. Your eyes are irrelevant. You don't even need to look at the doors. You can just walk and feel like, oh, this doesn't feel good. Not meant to be here. Ooh, this doesn't feel good. Not meant to be here. But how long will you take to take yourself out of those situations? Be gentle with yourself. Be patient with yourself. 
because some of you see the other side and you're anxious to get there and you're excited to get there and you will get there. And that's how you'll get there by knowing you're going to get there. Once you know, you will stop letting it go. All right. It's like, you know, your name is your name, but would you be trying to prove it? Imagine trying to prove this like, okay, well, let me go to the hospital. Let me just make sure this is my name. How long will you do that before you say, nope, this is my name. You must know that this is for you. You must know celebrations and miracles is what you're here to experience. You must know that. Seven of wands, exhaustion. But I see a breakthrough coming here with the seven. We have two sevens. Okay, 777, seven, 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 July 7, 2023. 777. It could, it's like this might be your last 30 days of doing whatever you're doing before you say, I'm done going here. I'm ready for something new. All right. We also have the strength card again, Leo energy, having the strength, the courage, the bravery to, to be you, to go towards these desires, to not wait until someone says, okay, yes, these are the last days. These are the last years before you live your life, before you create that bucket list. Do it now. Your desires, you're prolonging, you're putting them on hold. Your desires are what is going to work out without 100% of a doubt. The desires work themselves out. They drive you to the place, to the car, whatever it is, but you must know what your desires are are not a wish, not a want. A wish is, I hope, I hope it comes true. I want is, ooh, I want that, I want that. I desire is, I desire to be free. It is something that you will die, <laughs> die allowing yourself to get to because a desire is different, all right? It is so much more powerful. So when I say focus on your desires, I don't, I got to break it down for y'all. What is a desire? It is a burning fire. It is something you, you can't stop thinking about this. You want to do it all the time. You want to be here all the time. All right. Th that, those are the desires. And those desires were given to you, given to you by the universe, placed in your spirit. And not everyone has your desires. Your desires are unique to you, all right? So you're not just looking for any car or any house. And you might have heard me say this. You, you are seeking, you are allowing and receiving what's yours. There's a difference, okay? So if some of you have a Tesla on your dream board, it's not the Tesla, what is it about this car that you desire? And once you understand what that desire is, then it will appear to you. We are so focused on the material of it, thinking that this is it. No, you're looking for your Tesla or your vehicle. And your vehicle isn't going to look like everyone's. It's going to be a vehicle you get in and you just feel like this is mine. Look for what's yours. Don't get distracted by what you're seeing physically, okay? I'm telling you, your desires, you cannot see them physically. You can, you can feel them, and some of you are, you have these dreams and desires, and you're like, ah, oh, this is what I desire. But what about that do you desire? Is it that feeling you're gonna get when you finally get off the plane? What is it that you're really desiring? Dive deeper. We have the nine of swords and slow down. So this message is coming to you to take a pit stop. Universe is communicating with you, signs, okay, through numbers. There is a celebration coming. There is a miracle that's getting ready to transpire. Whether you believe it or not, you can feel it coming, which is why you're so damn tired of whatever else you're in or dealing with. If it doesn't bring you excitement and happiness, it is no longer aligned with you. You have evolved outside of that. All right. And so you just don't desire to do it anymore. And you can force yourself, which is once again, we say self-love. Yep. Self-love, self-love. If you loved yourself, you would not force yourself. Think about some of you who have children forcing them. Love is not forceful. Love is not forceful. 
If I love myself, I will listen to myself and say, okay, you don't want to be here. Let's find joy in the space that we're in because we might not have the faith to take the leap right now, but we can find some source of inspiration. And even when I was in my last days of working in the cubicle settings, what excited me is I knew it was temporary. So my excitement for this is temporary is what allowed me to be grateful in that process because I was not ready to take the leap. Some of you are not ready to take the leap right now because you feel like things will fall apart if you don't keep them together. Strength, you have strength here twice. You're getting gifts. Spirit wants you to focus on the other side of the situation. All right, when you do take the leap, focus on the exciting part of what this leap is gonna bring, not the anxiousness and the worry of it. Okay, what else is coming? Other messages for those who are here. Three of swords, king of swords. All right, and we also have the queen of swords or queen of pentacles. So we have some stability coming in. You are meant to be free all the way around, which means you desire not to have to be dependent on someone to give you. You are too abundant in your nature to feel good about that. You have a stream of income that should be coming directly towards you. I also feel like with the page of pentacles, you will slowly become the queen of pentacles the more you nurture whatever this is. Let's get another clue about what this is. Okay, we have the page of pentacles, some type of opportunity that's growing to the seven celebration once again. Okay, confidence, joy, bliss, delight, something that brings you celebration. Some of you could just enjoy celebrating, bringing people together. This could be an idea. The page of pentacles around collaborating, bringing like-minded people together. Some of you may be wanting to really desire to help people if you have a backyard, if you have a community, get five people together, start now. That's what the Page of Pentacles is. Start now, even if it's small. And over time, not much of it, because we only have the Seven of Pentacles here, not much time, it's going to grow into a money tree. One seed is going to give you, literally, you guys, you're so fruitful. You're so fruitful and abundant. And your money tree, right, when I see this tree, your fruit from this tree all right, you will be able to be financially free from it and you will be able to help others around you. You will be able to give to others around you. So bringing people together where your joy is, where is your joy? Where is that energy of joy? When you're imagining yourself in joy, what are you doing? Where are you at? And give yourself permission to dream because some of you are just thinking about the same damn thing every day. <laughs> it's like... Now what? Imagine you, that's already come. Okay, cool. White car, laptop, house, partner, it's here. Now what? Some of you are waiting for the partner before you get the house. So you're like, oh, I really want this, but I have to wait. Anything you think you have to wait for, really re-examinate that. Re-examine re that is what I'm getting, okay? Nine of swords. There should be no movement right now. The only movement should be excitement, inspiration, joy. If not, rest. In this time, you should not be acting anymore because your actions are not coming from a place of inspiration unless they are. Take some time to rest and find a small source of happiness, joy, inspiration that you can start building from. Now, whatever this is, this joy, this celebration, listen, paying attention. Once again, listen, paying attention. Signs are there. There's dialogue coming in every second you're connected with the universe, all right? So you are communicating already with the universe. And whatever this is that's bringing you joy, I keep asking, what is this page of pentacle? They keep saying joy, celebration twice, two different decks. You're celebrating. Whatever you're doing, you're like, oh my gosh, guys, look what I'm doing. And then you're naturally sharing this because you're so excited about it. You don't have to motivate yourself to share it. You're just naturally like, look. That, my friend, you keep nurturing it, queen of pentacles, financial stability, but you have to trust because you see it as a page. A page, there's a page, there's a knight, there's a queen, and there's a king. The page is considered the child. Not doesn't really know much, but it's a good place to be because you're a believer, you're inspired, your imagination will allow you to flourish. But we do have the page of pentacles, which is someone who is very a diligent worker. 
you may be working too much. Okay, I, I'm hearing you may be thinking that you have to work too much. This doesn't require any work, which is why it's completely uncomfortable and awkward for you to receive because it doesn't require any work and you don't know how to receive without working. This is something new. This is foreign, working. Okay, so playing, playing, overworking. Us earth signs are getting into that, okay? So another thing I have here is your love life. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords and we also have the King of Swords. Some of you could be in a relationship. Some of you could be questioning a relationship. Some of you could be questioning where a relationship is coming, where it's going. We have the Three of Swords. Some of you love people but are not in love with people. This is for a very few of you. I have single people here. There's some people who are in relationships, whatever the case may be. All right, I'm seeing that some of you could have a soulmate or someone around or someone that you thought was your person with the three of swords and you guys are mirroring each other. We have a queen and a king, but look at what we're mirroring. The side of you that's changing. Would you look at that? The analytical, the logical, the the just of the um the very intelligent like you guys match each other's energy here, but the three of swords, you're evolving. So if you're in a relationship or moving forward from a relationship, understand you are changing. And if this person has, wants to be in the same frequency, they have to evolve as well. They got to keep up with you. They got to keep up. So some of you could be conflicted, all right, about a certain situation or a connection. Could be a friendship. Doesn't even have to be a relationship. Could be a family member. And you guys are mirroring someone else's energy that seems like it could be a counterpart or soulmate but once again they are mirroring the version of you that you are letting go so this is going to require them to have to evolve and i'm telling you with the three of swords not everyone is ready to evolve so if you're wondering what's happening in relationships friendships family ships whatever ship you're on you are changing so as you change your environments are changing too you can't not think like that and then have someone else thinking like that around you. You're going to be like, oh, my gosh, is that how I used to think? Some of you are going to start seeing your old version and people around you just talking. Is that how I used to talk? Is that how I used to think? Yeah, they're mirroring you. But what what aspect are they mirroring? Loving someone and being in love with someone is two different things. You are desiring with the partnership card to be in love. There is a different feeling here of being in love versus I love this person. If that were the case, why not just be with all of your exes? Because you'll always love them. But no, at some point you fall out of love if you're not on the same frequency. That's how people fall out of love. They outgrow each other and they fall out of this. And how do you know? It's because you start seeing everything. You start getting irritated about everything. Okay, you can see some of these episodes on reality TV and these couples, it's like, why are you trying so hard to make this work? If it was meant to be, it would be natural, it will be easy. But it's like, we can't accept these truths because these truths, they start to trigger some of these traumatic wounds that you have of maybe never finding someone, et cetera, et cetera, whatever the case may be. Even with the moon card, there, there are subconscious beliefs about your love life that are being washed away so that you can attract what you truly desire. If you're a joy bringer, you're going to attract a joy bringer. So be in the energy in which you want to attract. And right now, you, if you're single, may not be in the energy right now because whatever you attract is going to be what you are. And we know right now is just probably not the time, okay? Probably not the time because you're not in that space. We have pathfinder release your past and start a new journey you are a teacher and help others find their way how are you a teacher some of you come to me and you're like oh well, I got a reading and it said I'm a teacher we really have to stop being so def definite okay because we think a teacher looks like one thing I'm a teacher you're teaching people just through your example of existence because your path is different you couldn't stay in these situations if you wanted to. That's why our wants are not great enough. Your desires are much stronger. Okay, I just had a mentorship class. Some of you guys could have been in there for the level 11. And one of the girls manifested moving completely to Bali and is now able to financially be there for five months. Didn't even know how she was going to do it. And then I asked her, is there something that you really wanted that you've been wanting for some time that, that you still haven't manifest? She says, yes, a camera lens. 
and I ask her, how the hell did you manifest moving to Bali, so, like making this happen, but you still don't have a camera lens? And that's because her desire for Bali, when you follow your desire, it literally works out. But some of you are not following your desires. You're following your wants. I want this person. I want that. You, you think you do. And this is why we got to get to know ourselves because we really think we do, but we're thinking it based on what we, what we think is optionable, what, what our options are. You haven't seen all of your options because you have been only looking in what's front of you. So you think you want this. You think you do. <laughs> I'm telling you, okay? So you couldn't stay in these situations, whatever these situations are that are bringing some worry, some stress, causing sleepless nights, whatever it is. How is this going to work out? How, 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 how is it? How you tell the universe, is it going to work out? You tell, you tell the universe. That's what the universe is saying. You tell me, is it going to work out? You have to have a definite answer so you can receive that. Woo, these messages. Okay. You couldn't stay in these situations if you wanted to because your desire to get out is too strong. So therefore, your path is not like everyone else's. So you are a teacher because people are going to say, hey, why is everyone going this way? But sh that person over there is going this way. Right away, you start to teach when you when you follow your path. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Strength, strength. Perseverance is your superpower. So perseverance is your superpower, which means you couldn't give up if you wanted to, which is also not always the best thing because some of you got to really hit your head before you're like, okay, let me, ooh, let me pause. Ooh, that was, that was, because you're, you have so much strength and perseverance that you can go through whatever and you don't realize what you're going through because you have so much strength and perseverance until the universe says, you're just running, 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 hit a wall. And it's not that the universe put the wall there. It's just that the wall was going to be there to slow you down because you desire to see the truth. And, and what I'm seeing right here is you have a love that endures a love that is be meant to be shared with more than just one person, meaning I'm not talking about your relationships, your love. You have a love to help, a love to serve, a love to do right, a love to follow the light, a love of, of peace, a love of freedom. You have a love, right? Your heart is pure and free, earth angel. You are rare, all right? A greater purpose is calling you at this moment, this greater purpose is you get to live your dream life. You hit the jackpot. You just don't know how it's gonna work out or, or some of you don't even know what this is, okay? What this looks like, what this feels like, all right? And it says you have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. What do we have? Strength from six different decks already? So you have a gift of strength. However, don't let it work against you. Use it when you are being brave and courageous, but not to work and be persistent and work hard and do this. And I'm going to be persistent. And, and it should be, I'm, I am going to be persistent in feeling good. I'm going to be persistent in following what feels good to me. That's where your stamina should be. But if it's not, you will run into a lot of walls because this is the way to slow you down. Health could be another wall that you might run into. This is where the universe is really like, sit your ass down. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. This is what you're here to do. This is what the message is here. Greatness, I can't make it up. Mastery, magic. Greatness, magic, and mastery. Okay, and your life partner is going to mirror this. Let's see, what is their manifestation message? Why do we have greatness, mastery, and master here for those who are tuning into this video? We have, when I connect to the spiritual rim, <laughs> when I connect to the spiritual rim, I open the door to receive divine guidance. Open the door. That's what I've been saying. Receive divine guidance, clear direction, and great wisdom of solutions. Aha. You will not Figure this out from your human perspective, which is why logic is no good here. You are receiving direction and guidance and great wisdom. Well, why would you need to receive divine guidance, 
clear direction and great wisdom. Because what you desire is higher than what you can do for yourself. You're asking for something spiritual, freedom, bliss, joy. We only see this in the expression of because we are it. So we can only reflect what we are. So this is why spiritual divine guidance is required to obtain spiritual ob obtainments. So you can do less and attract more. This is what you have to accept. Can you accept that though? Because that means you're not doing it. And some of you are so used to doing it because if you feel like you don't, it's going to fall apart and la 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 la. And if you have to do that to keep it together, you're going to be exhausted. You shouldn't be exhausted because you shouldn't have to keep it together. If it was meant, you should not have to keep it together. It feels good to feel good. This is where your energy is shifting. Can you just feel good about not doing anything and still receiving? Choose to know the truth because you can open your inner vision. You can see through deception. Let the past go. That's the third time. Make room for a better life. Just said that earlier. Can you make room for a better life? Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. You're on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past. There it is again. And soar. You are meant to fly. You are meant to be free. You desire to be free. And in order to be free, you're being guided by the winds of spirit. Your inspiration to the world. Your wisdom will inspire the world. Your wisdom is coming from the universe. Okay? And your leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. There you go. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. This is the truth. This is what's here for you. But can you accept it? Can you accept receiving this? So your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. Your wisdom, your wisdom, your wisdom. But your wisdom is coming from higher self. Your wisdom and intuition. This is where your greatest gifts are. Not just your intellect. That is just one gift. So you will naturally and easily achieve success. But can you accept this? Can you allow this to come in? So if you guys are here, this is your general message for right now on your spiritual journey. I'm excited and inspired to be bringing more of these unplugging you from the matrix videos. If you're looking to do a personal freedom session with me, you guys can find that down below. Or if you're looking for pick a card readings more in depth, you can find that at the tarot chest and check out the description for anything else that I have going on. You guys can always find that down below. All right. About to drop an NFT earth angel collection. So if you guys want to be a part of that community, the, the whole earth angel kingdom is getting ready to be fruitful. Your light is going to bring in the most abundance you will see in this lifetime. So follow that light, follow that truth, because it is going to reward you. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next reading. I'm out.